welcome to Runway Academy. Today, we're going to be taking a closer look at the Motion Brush interface. Motion Brush works with image prompts inside of Gen 2. You can upload your own image by dragging and dropping it into the Gen 2 UI, or create your own image in Runway using the text to video panel in Gen 2, or heading over to the text to image tool. Once you have your image loaded into Gen 2, click on the Motion Brush button to get started. Starting out, let's brush over the area of the image you want to control. If you need to make your brush size bigger, you can use this slider here. If you accidentally paint too big of an area, you can swap over to the Eraser tool or use the Undo arrow at the top. You can also redo if you go back too many steps. Now that we've got a basic mask, we can move down to the motion control settings, horizontal, vertical, and proximity. You can think of these settings as an X, Y, and Z grid. On the x-axis, you have horizontal movement, which is how you move your subject left or right in the frame. Negative values will move your subject left, and positive values will move your subject right. On the y-axis, we have vertical movement, which is how you move your subject up and down. Negative values will move your subject down, and positive values will move your subject up. Finally, on the z-axis, we have proximity, which is how you move your subject closer or farther away from the camera. Negative values will move your subject farther away, and positive values will move your subject closer to the camera. Each slider is controlled with a decimal point value between 0 and 10, 0 being no motion along that axis, and 10 being maximum motion along that axis. You can manually input the numerical value in the text field, drag the text field left or right, or use the slider controls to move the values as well. To reset any of the sliders, you can just click on the arrow to go back to 0. If you need to reset everything within the Motion Brush UI, you can push the Clear button, which will reset everything back to zero, including your mask. Once you've locked in your mask and movement controls, click on the Save button to save the mask and return back to Gen 2, where you can now click the Generate button to make the masked area of your image come to life. In the next video, we'll be covering brush and movement techniques with Motion Brush. For more helpful resources, join our community on Discord, where you'll find lots of information and experimentation using Runway, or you can find a specific answer to your question by using this button on your dashboard at any time.